Hey guys, I want to talk about the markups list and just give a brief overview of some of the things in there. So right now I've got Bluebeam 2018 open and I have a markups drawing. If you don't have this and you want to have the same drawing open, um, maybe the first time you, you've opened Bluebeam, you may have got this prompt. If you go to help, launch review tutorials, you can see markups and a number of other things. And the markups one, you can press next, it's going to launch a new tab up here. We can scroll down and we can open up the sample floor plan and that's going to open up this drawing. It's nice because it already has a lot of markups associated with it. So we don't have to set one up or, or start placing them. We can take a look at it. So down here at the bottom we have the markups list. And if you don't see this, say it's like this, you can press down here. Also, if you notice uh, JavaScript, all this is doing is opening up more panel views. So this is the panel access and I kind of think like uh, this is the same thing and um, it's just another window for viewing them so because you can come down here take markups and you can move it to up here to the other uh, panel access bar and I'm gonna move this one back down here so if you don't see it as well if you don't see it in any of those locations you can also right click and press show and you can come up here to markups and turn it on so say let's just hide it real quick we'll say show we'll come to markups and now it's there so I'm gonna extend this window a little bit we can come in here and select the markups it's gonna take us to the page that's associated with it and it's also gonna highlight them and we have a number of parameters associated with those markups so we have the page label we have the comments associated with them, author, date, status, color, layer. Layer is kind of cool because you can have different layers within a project and then assign them on layers so that you can uh, show and hide different comments. We have spaces in case we uh, pulled out spaces when we exported from Revit. You can also add stuff. So if we come over to markups list, we can add columns to it. Come back in here. We can add X and Y, creation date, length, area, wall, capture, sequence, so a number of things, a whole bunch of stuff. We could also reduce them by going up here to the ones that are checked and just turning them off. So for example, if I don't care about date, I can just do that pretty quickly. If I care about the Y, I can do that. The X location, I can, I can turn that on. Let's say maybe we care about the length. Going back in here, we also have markups, so we can import markups or export markups. So this may be nice if we're getting uh, updated drawings. Uh, you could also slip sheet them or kind of bring them in there with the markups uh, without them getting removed. One way is we can actually export our markups and it's gonna get a kind of a huge file, just the markups and we can import it into a new uh, sheet set with updated drawings, for example. We can also get a capture summary, and we could also export our captures, so all our pictures and stuff. Another cool thing is we have filters. So if I click on this filter button, I then get these filter buttons next to each parameter in there, and then I can filter through so unique items in that column. So. For example, if I only care about the flooring right now, I want to take a look. I can click on that. It's going to filter all the flooring. And then you can do multi-layered filtering. So if you want to filter for flooring and then filter a specific type, um, or, or the ones on a specific page, or ones that are for uh, one of the specific authors. We also have the option of custom as well. It's going to pop this dialog box. And we can do a number of things, or an add, and I'm going to exit all that. I'm going to turn off filters. Another thing is you can hide markups. We can also do a search. And then over here, we can take a summary of all our markups and we can export them in a CSV, XML, PDF. We can print the summary. What's nice about this, for example, if we want to pre print a PDF, we can print a pretty nice formatted sheet and with all our markups. We can add, you know, the images to it and all the other information, you know, maybe for a checklist process or 
um, another uh, review um, process you know we can export it out to share it also we could use it in Bluebeam Studio um, so really that's it uh, I guess if we want to add some new markups come here we can see down here that in the cloud it's added a new cloud markup floor plan D Goodwin as the author date color what's cool too here is when we're adding these we can come over to here and we can change the subject and if there's a layer that needs to be needs to be associated with it we drop that down and associate it here is where we would update the subject so we can filter it a little bit easier if needed So this is nice, especially when you're collaborating on drawings or doing a review with uh, multiple team members, maybe using Bluebeam Studio. You could use this to really um, effectively manage all your markups, see if things are active or if there's comments that need to be reviewed or if it's been taken care of, whatever the case is. So. I hope this helps. Um, appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot.